Well, there's just no stopping artists who get together with a clever idea. And the Chalk Art Fest is a great example, turning all of the sidewalks of Schwebert Park into works of art. Kevin Maynard from Quad City Arts is here with details of the festival that's uh, next weekend, right, Kevin? Not this one coming up. Uh, yes, correct. It'll be July 16th and 17th right, in right. Rock Island. It's a good one, isn't it? Yes, yes. I mean, it'll be a, a lot of a lot of vibrant art, music, food. I mean, just about everything that you could need for a, a good get together. It's a so. perfect outdoor summer fest. And uh, I think during COVID, so many people got into decorating their own sidewalks. Yeah, right? yeah. That we, was a hot thing. Remember? Yeah, and we, we use an opportunity. We use that as an opportunity during 2020. We actually took the whole thing virtual. Um, so it'd be nice right. to be, you know, back uh, in person for a second year. So yeah, that's right. I remember how you did that. You had yeah. people create things in their own driveways and sidewalks. Correct. And um, so if you take part, if you're part of the, how do you get the uh, the set of, of chalk? So this art right on the table here is actually for all of our artists. So all of our artists who are participating, um, they get a shirt, they get a, obviously a spot to create art, and they get their first box of art from Blick Art Material. Um, if you're looking to get a smaller uh, box of art, um, we have some available for a donation for you to use those to do your... Um, do a square on our community art piece that'll be available yeah, there as well. Yeah, we're going to show that in a little bit. So to take part, maybe you're thinking, well, I want to go to the thing and see it, but I don't necessarily want to do any chalking myself, yeah. then there's a lot of other things to do. It's a big party. Yes, exactly. So, I mean, if pe people like me who maybe not have that, don't have that skill to create the art, right. uh, you can come down and you can see some really impressive pieces of artwork, but you also have an opportunity to uh, have some food at some food trucks, um, and there's also bands that are happening the entire time that we're open. So, Saturday, it'll be from 10 to 7, and Sunday, 10 to 5, and about 4 o'clock, we'll announce the, the winners of the Chalk Art mm -hmm. Festival. Um, so, the artists themselves, I mean, they're competing for, for prize dollars. And so we'll be giving out about a total of $1,600 this year. How nice. Yeah. Well, as we look at these pictures, Schwieber Riverfront Park in Rock Island is one of our area's great parks. Yes. It really is. I mean, the view, uh, the way it's maintained mm -hmm. is really lovely and beautiful. And you have a farmer's market now there on Saturday. Yeah. Right? How's that going? Do yeah, you know? it's fantastic. Yeah, really well attended. Isn't that cool? So, so this is how it's set up, which you have a lot of nice space. Look at the view. Yeah, you know? and that's, that's really the great part is that all the art is lining the river and so you get to the artists obviously get a great time to you know be right next to the river and people get to come and you know have that as a just a great background a lot of green space to be able to set up uh, lawn chairs or anything mm -hmm. if you just want to be able to hang out and watch some some live music and really just hang out the kids will have a bouncy house this year so mm -hmm. be able to you know just something to keep people a little more occupied keep them in the park just a little bit longer and so we can really uh, you know pay tribute to some of the great artists in our community it, it's really beautiful stuff we, we saw some examples there that last one we showed that dog and cat oh, yeah. was, are those neat i mean it's just impressive the amount of things that people come up with we've had some really creative designs some people that you know will take a picture from their family and be able to you know replicate that onto the chalk work I last know. year we had an artist and i wish i could remember her name but she did an, an art a piece of artwork that was in mostly blues and yellows um, because her her uh, her significant other who was in the picture was colorblind and so that was a way that he could see that picture of himself and i was like wow. what a cool like what a very clever a way to you know incorporate design into that yeah and there's a lot of emotion in art isn't mm -hmm. there a lot of uh, people put themselves into it I mean that's what it is yeah yeah and it's such a self-expression mm -hmm. um, so th uh, the community art piece so if you're thinking well I want to I want to take part but you know <laughs> I just want a little just give me a few inches to work with that's the piece. Yes, so this year it's a you know Pac-Man theme. A big thanks to Analog for sponsoring the community art piece. And so if people, anybody can come out and uh, take a square and kind of fill in the, the piece there. Um, I always tell people that I like to take sort of you know the bottom or one of the corners yeah. um, because they're very easy. I let the more skilled artists take the center pieces. So. But, well, it's like a puzzle, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. there, there's, you can see some of those squares would be a little more complex. They have more, uh, more design, more color. Uh, is that kind of a paint by numbers thing? Like make this one yellow make this uh, one blue honestly we split it into two foot by two foot squares so you are just trying to match exactly what's on that image there oh. um, and then at the end it'll all come together um, and it's it's really really impressive because you know at by the end of it you essentially see all different skill levels coming together to create one cohesive image um, which makes it really fun and every one of them would always be different right with the fit for the finished product exactly yeah? So the Chalk Art Fest coming up on uh, this uh, weekend after this one, Saturday and Sunday, the 16th and 17th, uh, there at Schwebert Park. Now, if you want to do the the community piece again, Kevin, you have to pay for that. Uh, per square? It's, if if you if you want the if you want to walk away with some chalk, some really high quality chalk that the artists are using, that's a five dollar donation for the chalk there. Okay. Um, otherwise. 
come out, let us know, and we'll we'll get you started on some socks so you can just uh, fill out a square there. That's a fun thing to do with yeah. family and kids of all ages. Kids of all ages. You, you'll yes. let a two-year-old get down there with oh, the chalk. Oh yeah, yeah. We've got. We'll have some areas set out to be able to for them to chalk as well. Well, uh, good work on that, you and Quesi Yards. I know it's thank it's you. it's work to do these put these <laughs> festivals together. So, uh, thank you, Kevin. We appreciate you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it.